All right, 90 Day Challengers, this is the last 30 days. This is video number two, all right? So we talked about the workouts and the cardio, so let's just hop right into macros, okay? So macros is all you guys know. Once again, if you have questions about your macros, make sure that you ask them, all right? So macro base, they're gonna stay the same, guys. All right, the only change that you may see is this. I am okay with some people eating at their RMR. Now, here is the prerequisites essentially for that. One, you have to ask and make sure that um, myself or your mentor clears you eating at your RMR. Now here's where I know that an area is where you're not going to eat at your RMR. If currently right now you're eating your calorie intake and you are hungry, you're lethargic, um, you're having struggles, you don't know what day is the best day that you need to eat, if you can't answer those questions for me or even for yourself, I would definitely not do your RMR. Reason being, if you go to your RMR too soon and you're already lethargic and you're already hungry, it's just going to get way worse. All right, and you're not going to make it to the end. So check with myself to confirm that of your mentors before you eat that RMR at all on your no days. Okay. So um, second piece here now. So your cycle, your cycle should still be the same. Three no's, one carb, two no's, a carb. Okay. That's kind of the way we're setting that cycle up for you guys. All right. We're going to keep it that way. Now, here's where I would fluctuate a little bit. If you're planning on taking your picture, and let's say you're going to take your picture on Wednesday, all right, we have a whole week, and then that week time frame of the ending of the 90 day challenge, from that Monday to that Sunday, you can take start taking your pictures. Some people are going to take them early because they've got things going on. They can't they can't get here on a Saturday or Sunday. If that's you, that's fine. What you need to know is that if you're going to do that, pick that date, and your third no day needs to be the day before your picture. So, for instance, if Wednesday's my picture day, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are going to be my no days. Okay, and Wednesday would be my carb day, all right, essentially. Okay, now the reason why is we want you to be um, as tight as your body can possibly be. We want you to be as depleted as possible so that way you get the best picture. Inches look the best. You can see muscle definition the best. Um, and after three no days, typically for most people, that's how it's set up. So adjust your cycle now to what your picture day is, all right? Now, with that being said, okay, here's the things that you want to do. At the end of a no day, at night, you want to start taking pictures of yourself, guys. Now, I know it sounds kind of silly, but if once again, if you want the best possible chance of winning, you need to take a picture of the front of you, okay? Looking at the mirror, take a picture, or set your timer, take a picture of your front side, okay? In the, uh, at night, on a no day, and then the next morning when you wake up, take a picture again, okay? Now, there's one other picture that you could take, and that's about lunchtime on your carb day. So those would be the three pictures I'd take to take, and you want to compare those as you progress and then once again still even though those are picture days still watch your body and your physique and see kind of how your stomach's looking and your shoulders and things of that nature all right so that's what i would really definitely tell you guys um, that you want to try to do okay so those pictures are going to help determine on what you're going to do come picture day all right so as you're taking those pictures if you notice anything hey grant i noticed after my third no day at the end of the night man i look great when i wake up not so good all right, those are, those are very big telltale signs of what you need to do come picture day to get the best picture you possibly can, transformation base wise. All right, so cycle, macros, that's what you guys are at right there. All right, so now the next piece. Grant, what am I supposed to eat? So let's just start with protein. Protein shakes for starters. If you're at three now, you need to cut them back to two. All right, because eventually we're gonna cut it back to one and then we're gonna cut it to none. So if you can start doing that and cutting it back to none, Fantastic. Here's the thing. If you cut a protein shake out, guys, you have to replace it with protein. Okay? And by protein, I mean, oh, my protein shake is out, so I'm going to replace it with four ounces of chicken. That doesn't count. If your protein shake is yielding 40 grams, 50 grams of protein, you have to eat enough meat to replace that 50 grams of protein. All right? So that's how that would work. So follow your macros. Use your MyFitnessPal. If you're not using it now, you need to have some sort of calculations to figure out these numbers. So definitely would say start incorporating my fitness pal in if you haven't already done so. All right, have your mentor help you out with that or I can help you out with that. Okay, so protein shakes, that's where you're at on that. Most of you guys should be at like two to one right now. Um, we'll have one more video that's gonna be a little closer to the end. That's gonna tell you what to do and that's gonna be when we tell you to probably cut out protein shakes if you're looking for the best transformation. Okay, so now protein sources, chicken, turkey, tilapia that's about it okay um, some people are still having a little bit of eggs you can have eggs on occasion but if you want the absolute best transformation guys 
ground turkey and tilapia are going to be your two protein sources that are going to really get you that transformation that's going to look top notch. All right? If chicken doesn't affect you like it does some people, chicken's still fine to keep in your diet. Some people it does affect them, okay? So I do tell you, um, I, f I find the best results for people whenever they stick to tilapia and ground turkey, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now, I'm not telling you to eat tilapia for breakfast. I would never ask anybody to do that. But if you, for some reason, feel like that's going to give you a good advantage, you feel like that's something that you can do, it would be very beneficial um, to try to do that. Now, some people aren't going to have to do that, and I would never, once again, I would never do that. I eat ground turkey for breakfast, and I would do the tilapia later on in the evenings and the afternoon day, the afternoon part of the day. Okay? So that's what you're looking at. Now, white fishes, hake fish, some other fish, cod, swahi, those are fine. Protein sources, okay, they're going to vary from uh, fish to fish. Um, white fish is what you're trying to keep it at, okay, guys? So that's your protein sources. Um, now, carb source, sources. Um, oats um, and sweet potatoes are going to be the absolute best items that you can possibly take in carbohydrate-wise for you. If you feel like rice doesn't have a negative effect on you, I would tell you that you could eat it very moderately. I would tell you to go ahead and just pull it out, but sweet potatoes and oatmeal are gonna get you the absolute best results that you could possibly achieve um, from a carbohydrate standpoint, all right? If you think that there's something else that you think you can take in, let me know, we'll discuss it, all right guys? Now, fat intake. If you've been doing peanut butter, I would tell you to go ahead and switch on out the peanut butter and go right into almond butter or almonds, all right? Now, some of you guys have been doing mixed nut variations and things of that nature. I would tell you that for this next stretch, I would try to switch all the way to almonds. Now I get it that cashews and some of these other ones have similar values, things of that nature. Check with me first. My issue with cashews is I just haven't seen the same results from cashews as I have from almonds. People like cashews because they're sweeter um, and they also get more cashews than they do almonds. So you guys choose what you want for that. But I would tell you to take away peanut butter, no peanuts, stick to almonds as much as you can. Avocados, throw stay in, holy guacamole, gotta go. Holy avocado can stay, you can buy that or just buy avocados at Sprouts, chop them up and take out what you need for that, all right? Um, now oils, cut the oils out guys. I know that some people are sauteing things and they're using oils on top of broccoli. Cut it out. Just take the oils out for now, guys. I understand the properties and the benefits of a lot of these oils that are out there, but for now, you're not being able to get a good measurement and a gauge, so why not just eat actual fat? Why not eat more avocado? Why not eat more almonds? Have more substance in your diet than these liquid um, fats, okay? So that's what you're looking at with your fat. Um, here's the next one, the vegetables. Vegetables need to be green beans, asparagus. Those need to be your vegetables. Cauliflower, a little bit here and there. Um, ideally, your best scenario is asparagus for the for the remainder of this. Broccoli, a lot of people bloat off broccoli, so if you're one of those people, I would just go ahead and cut it out. Um, cucumbers are still okay. Zucchini and a little bit of green peppers from here and there. But honestly, the best vegetables to kind of throw around is spinach, kale, and asparagus. Those are going to be your options, guys. Um, when it comes to salads, apple cider vinaigrette is a good dressing to use. Um, if you're using anything else, Ken's Steakhouse Light Italian is going to be the next thing. Um, and use it very, very sparingly. Essentially, don't use it a whole lot um, for your salads. Hey, guys, that's video number two. Check out video number three to kind of wrap up the food.